Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is by far very likely the uh, most important video I've ever done on Marx Trains. Now, what you're looking at, of course, is a Marx Transformer, an early Marx Transformer, and it has no circuit breaker, as you see. And the problem with this, of course, is if you short the output, it'll burn out the secondary coil in the transformer in a matter of a minute or so. It'll just fry it. That will kill the output. It will never work again. So I've been doing an ongoing series of experiments with adding a circuit breaker to a Marx transformer. This is what I've come up with. This is an automa <coughs> automotive 5 amp circuit breaker that is actually a plug-in replacement for a fuse, as you see. Now, I've gone through lots and lots and lots of these circuit breakers looking for one that worked. And I just wanted to do a quick demonstration on this. So, what you do is you run one wire from the terminal to the circuit breaker, one from the circuit breaker to the track, and the other one, of course, goes straight to the track. You just want this in series with your power line. And so, we'll turn this uh, up halfway, as if you were running your train, and you short the track, and as you see, the breaker pops and protects your transformer. It works. It's really, really simple. It costs $4.00. Dollars, so it's really simple to do to do this and add a circuit breaker to any transformer, whether it's a Marx transformer, a Lionel transformer, American Flyer. It doesn't make any difference. And then, of course, to reset it, you just push down on the uh, reset button, and as soon as it resets, it's ready to go again. So we'll turn it back up, and as you see, it works. It works virtually instantly so it will protect your transformer you'll never have to worry about burning it up and uh, it's really small it's really really easy to use it and uh, it's made to plug in and replace a fuse as you see so I just wired a couple of uh, or soldered a couple of wires to it so this side of the uh, transformer is going through this to the track the other wire is going straight to the track so you just put this on in series in your feeder wire and you're up and running. And of course, to reset it, just push down on the reset button and the power comes back on and it's ready to run. So uh, regardless of what your setting is, it's going to work. And that's half uh, setting or half power on a 50 watt transformer. So most trains will actually be set higher than that. And as you see, it works. It works every single time. It kills the output instantly. No muss, no fuss. Four bucks, takes two minutes to uh, put it in line, and you never have to worry about burning up your transformer. It's a great way to add a circuit breaker to any transformer there is. Like I said, whether it's uh, Marx, Lionel, American Flyer, it doesn't make any difference. If your transformer doesn't have a circuit breaker, you're in danger if you short it of burning out your secondary wiring or winding. This way, the breaker instantly stops the output and saves your transformer. It works, it's cheap, it's easy, and the best part about it is you don't have to worry about burning out your transformer. It's simple, it works really, really well, and it's really cheap. So it's just a matter of where you're going to mount it. You know, very likely you could just mount it with a piece of uh, double stick tape or mounting tape directly to the transformer itself or someplace on the layout. doesn't really make a difference. But again, as you see, half power on the transformer, short the track, and it pops. So it works. It works really, really well. It'll protect your layout. It'll protect your transformer. I uh, just can't say enough about this. took a lot of looking to find it, but uh, this arrived this morning, and I just uh, did the initial experiment. Finally, after, I don't know, 11 attempts, I think, I found one that works to my satisfaction. This will protect your transformer. You'll never have to worry about shorting your track. So I just want to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.